The purpose of this video is to show you how to submit an item in Chalk and Wire. Currently I've logged into Blackboard and if I scroll down on the login page there's a link connecting me directly to Chalk and Wire. This link will work as long as you've created your account in Chalk and Wire. When I enter Chalk and Wire you can see the different categories across the top. I want to go to my portfolios and I have already taken the time to set up my various part portfolios. For your clinical math course, you'll find it in your general education portfolio. You'll also find your algebra course here if you have me as an algebra student. So once I enter my general education portfolio, I click on the course that I'd like to submit the material for. So I'll click on my clinical mathematics course. At the top, you see an option to add content. So you want to upload a new file, and you want to upload the file that I sent you. So we'll choose to add files and this will take me to my computer. So you will need to take time to save the item that you're going to put in your portfolio. So I'm going to add some pre-lecture notes. It may take a moment. This one uploaded really fast. So I just click close and now you'll see that this answer key is here. I can also type things. So if I want to say something about my experience, I can add a text block and say, I learned a lot. In MAT 150. If you did really poorly on the test, you may want to explain why the test didn't go as you thought it should. Obviously, you haven't seen your grade yet, so you would only be explaining extenuating circumstances. So I'd like to save that. So I have this. I have this item saved. And now I'm ready to submit it. So I see my green Submit button, so I click Submit. You see up here the status is orange. It's not submitted at all. And so it tells me to enter the names of who I want to see this. And so please enter my name and submit it to me. So my name is Mary Phillips. And then I click Submit. Now you'll see that the status up here has changed from orange to green, and it has been submitted. And I'll get that, and I'll send it back to you with a completed rubric. So that's all you need to do to submit an item in your portfolio.